So the latest episode of Tales of the Walking Dead uh, deals with Alpha and Lydia. Years before they uh, show up with the Whisperers to fuck everything up for our heroes in The Walking Dead in the overly extended Whisperers War that, that, that took place in seasons 9 and 10. Um, this was a pretty good episode for the most part. Uh, you know, we have Alpha with hair. This is pre-bald Alpha. Uh, Pre-Whispers Alpha um, with Lydia is about, you know, nine-ish, eight, nine, ten, somewhere in there. They live on a steamboat, like a riverboat, kind of like old school southern riverboat where there's, you know, you, you imagine people playing poker and drinking fancy cocktails. And this has kind of been recreated a little bit by the leader of this group, a, you know, a, an attractive woman named Brooke who wants everything to be attractive like her, including, um, you know, Everyone dressing nicely, everyone dressing up for these fancy parties she throws. Uh, Alpha's not really buying any of this. It's not really her jam, but Lydia's really sucked in. And this this irks her mother uh, to no end, but she kind of plays along for her daughter. But some things kind of rub her wrong. There's a, a newcomer named Billy. Uh, she talks with at the bar and she just gets a bad vibe from him. She doesn't trust him and it turns out her instincts are right, even though nobody wants to listen to her. Uh, he comes back takes them by surprise, kills some of the, the people in the boat, and it's all that, that Alpha can do to, 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 to rescue her daughter and they get off to safety. Um, she does this by slashing a guy's throat, taking his gun, firing some shots, jumping over the edge of the boat, getting away. Uh, there's some walkers on the other side. She kills one. They hide underneath it. Some of the other um, people getting away from the boat are killed by the walkers, and uh, the only one that apparently escapes is Brooke herself. Uh, Alpha goes to kill Brooke because she's pissed off that she was such a bad leader that she let these bad people in and could have gotten her and her daughter killed but Lydia stops her she loves Brooke she she views Brooke, Brooke as the mother she wishes she had you know all glamour and and glitter and fairy princess right whereas her mom is Alpha although she's known as D here this is she's still going by her real name D which is ironic because that's a letter in the alphabet and so is Alpha um, at least in the Greek alphabet. Uh, so instead of killing her, she just slashes her down the face with her knife, cutting a big old wound open across her face and taking away her beauty in the process, or at least some of it. Hopefully we see Brooke again somewhere in this show that will never end uh, because she is kind of an interesting character, especially now that she's been um, m marred, um, scarred, marked. Uh, and threatened by Alpha that, you know, she'll mess her up if she ever sees her again, yada, yada, yada. Uh, they make off uh, from here, and Alpha is pretty sure that, like, Lydia's got to die because she's going to, you know, without her mom, she would face too many horrors if, if she were ever to die. She She's not built for this world and all that stuff, you know, too weak. But as she's about to cut her own daughter's throat, she hears whispers, and... Lydia hears them too. She's not going crazy. These are the fairies that Lydia keeps talking about, the voices she hears in the forest. And we meet the Whisperers, and they welcome them into their group. Uh, at the very end, you know, this whole time, we've been hearing Alpha D um, narrating this story, narrating her past, narrating what happened. Uh, and it turns out she's narrating it to this woman who was the leader of the Whisperers when she was found, and now she's sort of taking her place. Um... She's about to kill her. She's been, I guess, monologuing as villains do. Um, now, what I get a little fuzzy about here, what really kind of uh, bugs me about this otherwise pretty good episode is the fact that the timeline is just all screwed up. I think the continuity here is just, I don't, I don't know, maybe somebody has figured this out. But in a flashback in The Walking Dead, we see when Alpha meets Beta. And Alpha is not a Whisperer yet. And she meets Beta... And a whole bunch of shit goes down, but the end, Beta cuts the zombie's face off, someone he knew, and he makes his own he makes his own mask, right? His whisperer mask. So you assume at this point that they kind of start the whisperers together, you know, with him making this mask, and then she'll go make her mask and all that. But there's no beta in this episode. And it looks like this is how she joins the whisperers, without beta. But then how does she meet beta? Does she meet him later? Has she already met him and then gone off to the boat and then they meet again? It's very confusing. And I'm not sure if the writers just sort of forgot about that whole episode or if they were just like, eh, whatever. 
screw continuity. Or if there is some explanation for this that maybe, I don't know, someone on Reddit has figured out uh, or, or what. Or, you know, I'm, I'm leaning into incompetency because it's The Walking Dead. Um, but I could be wrong. What did you think? What did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Um, I still think actually the last week's episode was more fun, even though it was totally wacky and, and had the whole like Groundhog Day thing going on. And that's kind of weird for The Walking Dead, but at least they did something different. Uh, but this this was a good I enjoy I enjoyed Alpha in this episode. She was she was it was nice to root for her and to see some emotional connection between her and Lydia and to not have her just be this sort of like unfathomably crazy psycho asshole whisperer boss um to kind of get a little bit more depth for her character although it would have been nice to actually maybe put this you know if they had made this during the whisperer war rather than well afterwards where it's kind of pointless now so let me know in the comments and thank you for watching peace